Do not limit God a daily devotional from Pastor Joseph Prasanna Kumar Greetings to you in the mighty and gracious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Our God is all powerful almighty omnipresent omniscient omnipotent and all knowing God Therefore we cannot limit God and today we will focus our learning on this topic simply because God is limitless boundless endless measureless and incomprehensible let us read psalm 78 and verse 41 yes again and again they tempted god and limited the holy one of israel the word limited is found in the king james version and the new king james version translations however when we read other versions we are exposed to alternate terms like vexed angered provoked tempted and so on something that the nation of israel should not have done but when we read the verse in the new king james version we find a much more powerful description of their actions they limited god this is something they did not just once they did it repeatedly when we read this verse in context we find that in verse 2 of the chapter the psalmist takes it upon himself to explain the things of old from verse 13 onwards the psalmist goes on to talk about the mighty deeds of god psalm 78 and verse 15 reads he split the rocks in the wilderness and gave them plenty to drink like the ocean depths this verse describes one of the mighty deeds done by god focus on the words wilderness and split the rocks gave them plenty to drink like ocean depths i urge you to take a minute to digest the enormity of the mighty act of god can anyone expect water to come from a rock that to a limitless supply but this is what the lord had done for the nation of israel and much much more yet they did not believe god in what he could do time and time again they tested god's power further for 40 years as the nation of israel wandered in the wilderness god gave them food he gave them a pillar of cloud by day to protect from the heat and a pillar of fire by night to give them warmth he was their vanguard a source of defense against the foe despite all these mighty deeds of god the israelites did not believe in the power of god and thereby they limited god Unfortunately even today we have a lot of Christians who do not believe in the mighty acts of God especially when it comes to healing gifts of the holy spirit and so on let me illustrate this with something i experienced personally a couple of years ago i was asked to pray over a child who was paralyzed when i went to their home i was asked to wait as there was another group of people already with the boy after they left i was told that i had been made to wait as the other group was from their church and they did not believe in healings that intrigued me and i asked the mother of the child as to what prayer the other group prayed i was told that they prayed to the lord for the boy to be healed the question i got at that point in time was if people do not believe in the mighty power of god to heal then how can they experience healing when they pray that is if you pray for something but do not believe that god can provide that then where is the belief trust and faith in the mighty power of our almighty god even for a fever to go how can we pray for god to perform healings and miracles if we do not believe the bible clearly warns and let us go back to psalm chapter 78 and verse 11 they forgot his deeds and his miracles that he had shown forgetting the works of god is also equivalent to limiting the power of god in other words we are testing god making him angry and provoking god whenever we forget his mighty deeds that he has done in the past in our lives the israelites by limiting god they caused grief to god this psalm will seem like a good read as it talks about the misdeeds of others and not us but dear the beloved this is where i would urge you to pause a while and question and examine yourself how many times in the past have you angered vexed pro and provoked god because of your lack of faith in him dearly beloved i urge you to change your way of thought and look to god with eyes of faith faith in his almighty power 
my prayer is that you will grow from strength to strength in your faith and draw from the limitless riches of god in every aspect of your life do not limit god god bless you amen